Glenn Maxwell is ready to talk. According to reports, Jeffrey Epstein's accomplice is set to cooperate with the FBI after being arrested yesterday. And experts say Maxwell has every incentive to name names. Nancy Grace thinks it could mean bad news for many powerful men, including Prince Andrews. All uh, they've got to do is keep her alive, all right? Don't let her commit suicide. Don't let her be killed. Keep her alive, because I guarantee you right now, there are a lot of powerful people, men, in the U.S. and Britain, who are quaking in their boots about what Gil and Maxwell may say about them, all the way from Wall Street to Washington. Emily, I'm going to go to you first, former federal prosecutor. Who are these other men, and can they keep her uh, safe? Uh, I'll answer your second question first. I hope that the government keeps her safe. I hope that for the same reasons that I hope they protect all inmates. Um, I think that it is obvious she is a wealth of knowledge and information for this international underage sex scheme that occurred for years and years. And if I may point a couple things out to about her case that is different than Epstein's. First of all, the fact that she does have all of that information, or undoubtedly does, does not erase her own culpability. And the fact that she played an incredibly insidious and active part of recruiting and grooming and abusing these girls. And in my opinion, an even more insidious role, because it was she that that lent that reassuring presence to them, that normalized sexual behavior so that when it came time for the abuse, the girls felt safe with her around there and had been normalized that, to that type of what ultimately became toxic and incredibly violent behavior. The three incidents alleged in the indictment by the government against her took place in the 90s, by the way, and Epstein's took place in 2002 through 2005. And the difference is that in the Federal Sex Trafficking Act, when it involves minors, there's no statute of limitations, meaning that clearly the incidents that the government is prosecuting here and charging, that there is ironclad evidence in their eyes of minors' acts and activities in the conspiracy and whatnot, and especially, of course, her 2016 perjury counts. Um, and I think that's a really big deal here because it means that they wouldn't bring it without that type of leverage they feel they have. And final point, much has been made about, oh, no, what if she gets a plea deal because of this volume of information that she can put forth? But plea deals do not they are convictions. So mm -hmm. I, I think that we should reserve um, a type of apprehension about that. The 99.7% conviction rate the federal government has is mostly due to those plea agreements. And so certainly, um, what if they offer that to her, any type of charge she would accept conviction for would be 100% grotesque because that's what her charges are. Yeah, she would have to confess. Brian, uh, Brian Yennis did an exclusive interview with a 14-year-old. Well, she's not 14 now, but at 14 years old, she was assaulted. And she talks about how she was gang raped and they tried to intimidate her after she got pregnant. I mean, what are they going to do here? Exactly. Uh, what they did is they point that she is just as bad as Epstein, according to this young girl who's now a young lady now, uh, and she wants to see... Uh, she wants to see justice paid to send a message and to also help her healing because when you have that type of experience as a teen, logic tells you it's going to be very tough having a normal life. I have a couple of things that Geraldo is uniquely equipped to answer. Why would somebody with so many options choose to come back to New Hampshire knowing that she's facing life in prison or worse? Why wouldn't she stay in a place that we couldn't even get her out of anyway? Like Prince Andrew is cowering in the corner of some palace. And she decides to come back as if she really thinks she needs to hide in New Hampshire. She could hide anywhere. Do you, what, what do you think is going on here? Well, I think that the fact that she was still in the United States indicates uh, that maybe our view of the strength of the case against her is, is wrong. I mean, I would have used her staying in the country were I her attorney uh, to argue that she was not a flight risk, uh, that she could be... Uh, uh, you know, uh, given bail or, or house arrest until, uh, until her case was heard. Uh, why she decided to stay, and when you buy a 156-acre spread in New Hampshire, a relatively sparsely populated uh, uh, state, uh, you know, uh, it's not exactly a subtle move. Uh, she used GMAX as her address. 
uh, you know, her initials in, in essence. So there's more going on there. You know, I, I detest what Epstein purportedly did and what this woman uh, allegedly did in aiding and abetting the abuse of these, of these children. Uh, but what I see as the real lesson of this, uh, uh, this morality tale is the, uh, is the toxic impact of money. Why did Bill Clinton want mm -hmm. to hang around with Jeffrey Epstein? Why, why did Prince mm -hmm. Andrew want to hide, uh, uh, you know, uh, hide out in Epstein's apartment, which happens to be the largest uh, private residence in, in Manhattan? What about all of these others, yeah. Harvard University and all of these prestigious uh, institutions? Why did they, yeah. uh, you know, court him? Him, even after he was busted uh, in the yeah, state case let me get for, Kennedy, uh, uh, for Ken child abuse. Kennedy, why is it that the rich, powerful, and well-connected play by different rules? I mean, I think the answer to the question why she was in New Hampshire is she thought she was, she was going to get away with it. Yeah, she thought she was going to live free, but she's going to die in prison, as she should. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not someone who was just helping out or, or codependent with Jeffrey Epstein. She is accused of sexually molesting children and shame on her and everyone else who has protected her shame on alex azar for giving jeffrey epstein the deal he did as a u.s attorney in florida if you watch the netflix series filthy rich about epstein it will make your stomach turn it will make you absolutely sick you don't have to be a parent of girls. I happen to have two girls, and it made me so incredibly angry. Not only at Epstein, who's waiting in hell for her, but also Ghislaine Maxwell, who abused these children herself and knowingly for years and years extended this cycle and uh, essentially ruined their lives. And I hope the victims have their real day in court and they get to look her in the eye. And their testimony is the nail in her coffin. Amen to that. And I hope they get every single person. I don't care what political party they're mm -hmm. associated with because these are nasty people.